Hey guys, what is up? It's Ghost Squad 57 here, and today I'm going to be doing a gameplay and commentary of Torchlight for Linux. Uh, before I get started, I'd like to let you guys know that I am running Torchlight on Debian GNU slash Linux testing edition. It runs perfectly fine. Uh, I have an ATI Radian 5750 and an Intel i5-3550. Uh, so yeah, it runs pretty good. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and start a new character. Um, yeah, so these are the classes you get a pick. You can't really customize the character at all. <laughs> but you do get a uh, three classes to choose from. The Vizier the Destroyer, which is, you know, your standard hack and slash. Get, in the get close to the enemy and destroy them. Uh, the Vanquisher, which is the... You know, your standard archer slash long range class, uh, very good for keeping enemies away. And then you have the alchemist, you know, your usual spellcaster who can uh, cast crazy, like fire rain and just crazy stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to pick a destroyer, just that's just the class I'm comfortable with. And you actually get to choose your pet over here. I can choose between a dog, cat, ferret. A little random. You know, that there's a ferret in there, you know, but whatever. Uh, I'll get a dog. Let's name him Gray. Name my character, too. Just because I'm... Can't think of anything, I'll just call him Ghost Squad 57. Normal. Anyway, so yeah, uh, Torchlight is a isometric action RPG, uh... And if you've played Diablo, then chances are you've played you played Torchlight, really, you know, because they're very similar. Uh, so yeah, this is the town of Torchlight. This is where you'll be selling your items, buying new items, getting quests, etc. I'm actually going to get a quest from this wizard. He wants me to get a gleaming ember from the first dungeon you run in. You see there's dead enemies right now. That's because uh, when you first, when you start a new game... He's find these enemies raiding the town. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so yeah, he ran off to the dungeon and this girl wants me to protect him. He is a bit ballsy, isn't he? He just ran right down there. Anyway, so yeah, we're in the very first dungeon, the mines. Ooh. Yeah. In case you haven't noticed, when you kill enemies in this game, it's very, like, bloody. Like, as you see there, when I kill that spider, he just, like, exploded until he just goo. It's crazy. And that definitely makes the, uh, killing enemies much more satisfying. Because, you know, you don't just stab them and they fall down. They just explode in this mess. So yeah, uh, gameplay is very simplistic. You just left click to go somewhere and left click on the enemy to attack them. Although you probably can't see the mouse. For some odd reason, the capture program I'm, u I'm using doesn't capture the mouse. I don't know why. It's like that with certain games. Oh, did not mean to hit that barrel. Picked up some leather gloves. That's nice. Ooh. Like, you can really feel the power between each swing, so yeah, it definitely makes combat fun and enjoyable. Chest here. Wax some barrels. Get some gold. So yeah, the enemies are a little bit generic when you first start off. I mean, as you see, I'm killing these rats and spiders, you know, but as you get further down the game, you fight, like, ghosts and stuff like that, which are still kind of generic, but they're much more unique enemies because they shoot, like, slow spells at you and stuff, so there's a little bit more variety later in the game. I actually picked up a second weapon. I think it was a rusty blade. I should turn off tips. I don't know why I have them on. Yeah, so right now my objective is to just get down to, I think, the eighth floor and kill the boss that's there. I also got to get an emblem for that one wizard. Uh, okay. Oh, 
rusty blade, a wobbly hatchet, and a leather helmet. Um, so yeah, I should probably talk a little bit about unidentified items. You see, uh, most cases when you pick up an item, uh, it will be unidentified. And that means you cannot equip it and you cannot see its stats. So you have to use a identity scroll, which you can get from a shop, or sometimes enemies will drop it if you're lucky. And uh, you right-click on the identity scroll, and then left-click on the item you want to identify, and it gives you the stats, and it lets you equip it. Although there is a weird bug uh, right now that whenever you equip a helmet, the destroyer loses his face. I don't know what that's all about, but hopefully they fix it. It's been like that for a while. The bug has been there for quite a long time. Man, a potion. I should probably use my abilities more. Actually, have a. There we go. See, uh, hitting a key. Uh, here, let me show you guys. Um, right down here, you have hot keys, and you can assign abilities to them. And when you press that key, it activates set ability. Like right now, I have three mapped to my swing ability. And that's that's a very good ability for taking out multiple enemies at once. Okay, it says I've leveled up. I'm gonna turn tips off. We don't need none of that crap. Uh, so yeah, once you get a level up, you click on this little plus button here, and you get to choose between a spell and you you, you upgrade your stats over here and your spells over here. So what do I want? I want. I want Soul Rend. That's a very good attack, and I'm actually going to map it to my right click. Uh, I'm going to upgrade my Strength, my Dexterity, Magic. Oh, that's it? No, I thought I had more points than that, but that's good. Don't know why I just hit that explosive barrel. I just felt like it. Uh, here, let's activate that Plunger, which blows up. So a spot over here. Ooh, what's that? Lantern. What all did I get from that treasure chest? I got an unidentified ring. Let's go ahead. Let's see that. Two electrical resistance and one increased experience gain. Uh, a bombard rifle. Of course, um, as a destroyer, I can still equip rifles and shotguns and stuff like that, but it's, yeah, I won't do much damage. So it's not really a good idea to use them. But you know, if you're a vanquisher, then it'd be a good idea to use things like rifles, because you know you you're good with long range weapons, that just makes sense. Alright. Ooh. Yeah. So once you get two weapons, these enemies are basically nothing, even though they weren't really challenging before. To be fair, I'm still on the first floor, so they're not going to be very hard. About to enter the second floor. Alright, so here we are in floor number two. Let's go to this door over here. Whoa, that's a big mofo. And uh, the attack I just did right there is actually the Soul Rend, which is what I unlocked when I upgraded, or leveled up, excuse me. It's definitely a very satisfying attack to use. Hit him. There we go. Hit other rats. Sometimes they'll run around. AI is a little weird. So yeah, I definitely enjoy this game. It's a uh, very straightforward and simplistic. There's really not much to it, you know. Go to a dungeon, kill enemies, get their loot, bring it to town and sell, you know, rinse and repeat, but uh, still very fun. Let's open this chest. Grab all this crap. Oh! Acid trap. Or poison trap. That's nice. Here. What item did I get? Uh, ooh. Crude club. 
Hmm. I'm gonna I'll identify the club. I'm out of identity scrolls. I could always use a town scroll, a uh, town portal scroll. Actually, go back to the town and buy more from the shop. If I choose to. Uh, equip this hammer. Mm. You can actually move items to your pet's inventory, which is very useful. In fact, once your pet. Uh, you can actually tell your pet to sell the items in his inventory by clicking right here. So we'll send him to town and have him sell his stuff. Now, I used a town portal scroll because I want to return to the town and buy a few identity scrolls because those are very useful. It's probably the item you'll be using the most in Torchlight. No, that's not what you buy. And that's the blacksmith. That's where you buy weapons, armor, etc. There he is. Uh, identity scrolls. I'm gonna buy like eight. I'm gonna buy a lot. It's a very good idea to have as much of them as you can. Let's see, I equip that. Got a mage, so I might as well sell them too. All right. But you're doing business with you. So yeah, using a town portal scroll, you can return to the town uh, anytime you wish, and then continue right back off where you left off, which is very cool. I'm starting to run into goblins now, or whatever them damn purple things are. Ooh, smush that spider. Ooh, dropped a bow. Too bad I'm not a vanquisher. S scepter, what was that? Quite get that. Yeah, scepter. I'm not useless for me. It's more of a mage. Mage's weapon here. Let's put that in my pet's inventory. So I can tell him to sell it later. Ooh. Ooh, identity scrolls. That's useful. <clears throat> so yeah, the abilities definitely feel very fun to use. Oh, who's that? Oh, that's uh, the guy I'm supposed to be protecting. Although I don't think he can die. So yeah, that's nice though. Oh, we got a big rat here. Old Thunk the Poisoner. Probably pronounced that wrong. Oh, I am almost dead. Should probably use a health potion there. I forgot I don't have tips on. And it doesn't really like to tell you when you're low on life. Ooh, level up. Let's pick up all this crap. No, let's see. What ability do I want? Ooh, I want the Titan Stomp, but I'm not high enough level. It's a very awesome ability. By the shadow armor, and I'll map it to four. Yeah, the shadow armor is a cool ability. Uh, by pressing four, you can. Well, since I got a map to four, when I press four, it summons this little archer guy who stays on my back, and he actually. Uh, oh, this is a melee one. Usually, it's an archer, but he'll actually help me with enemies, which is cool. Oh. Supposed to talk to him. <laughs> Almost left him. Yeah. Now that I got him on my side, although he's not uh, with you throughout the entire game, he uh, disappears after you fight the boss. But, you know, it's cool to have him for this one mission. He's feeling pretty lonely. He's pretty powerful, actually. Much more powerful than me. Blow this up, get some whatever's in here. Uh, just gold? Oh, there it is. Just, just. Oh, damn it. Trap. I actually got a good bit of armor. Should probably see what I got. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of Torchlight 2, Torchlight 2's gameplay revolves around. Uh, Inventory management, in case you couldn't tell. 
always seeing if the stuff you pick up is stronger than the stuff you already have equipped. That's very much like any other, you know, dungeon crawl, dungeon crawling, dungeon crawler. Can't believe I messed that up. It's a good ring. There we go. Hmm. Over here. Whoa. He's got like electric around him. I wonder if that's Brink's weapon that's doing that. Yeah, I'll just let him. Oh. Usually he, he'll run forward and try to kill enemies. Frost Scepter. That'll go for a good bit of money. Kill some more rats. Ooh. It's just so awesome, you know, hitting him and just seeing him like explode into this pile of goo. It's awesome. Or maybe I'm just crazy like that. Damn. Barrels, man. Sensitive. Tap him a little bit and they just explode and go crazy. Oh, I wanted to kill him with my little rend. Attack is awesome. It's a lot of damage. Explosive barrel! Oh, that's not an explosive barrel. I wanted to hit it and just like send the enemies flying back. Okay, health potion. Not finding loot that's too amazing right now. Most of it's scepters and staffs. Like, I just picked up another staff. Wow. Ooh, that is a big spider. Or use a health potion just to be safe. Level up! Sweet. Okay, let's see here. Still can't get the Titan Stomp. Man, that sucks. The Titan Stomp is an awesome, awesome ability. Uh, defense. I haven't been upgrading my defense. Wow. Should be focusing more on that. Mace. Uh, ooh, that's pretty powerful. Let's see here. Let's get rid of my club for now. Uh, hammer. Wow, that hammer is powerful. Some gloves. Sure, just put it right here. Uh, leather boots. Helmet. Nah, I already got a better one. Send all these items to my pet's inventory. Uh, um, and since his pet, since the inventory is almost, his, my pet's inventory is almost full, I'm gonna actually, by uh, clicking this button, sends my pet to the town, and he'll sell the items and come back with the money. It's pretty cool. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, and here we go to the third floor. Yeah, being able to send your pet to the town and sell all your items is very useful. Because, you know, you don't have to use a town portal scroll and find the merchant and sell all your crap. You can just tell your pet to get rid of it. Oh. As you can see, he's back from town and he brought me 304 gold. Thank you. Let's kill these fuckers. Ooh, that is a big troll. Plus, I'm only in the third floor, so they're very easy. Once you get to about the fifth floor, you start running into uh, much more magical enemies. Ones that'll actually keep your distance and spam magic at you. Unidentified gloves. Yeah, uh, monster uh, enemy chests actually drop a lot of good loot. I kind of like fighting them more than I do finding an actual treasure chest. Let's use my soul armor. Soul armor! Man, just devastating them. Look at that, just leaving a trail of bodies behind me. And there's one of the wizard enemies. Of course, when there's only one of them, they don't do much. Wow, there's a lot behind that door. Let's open it up!
as you can see, it gets action gets pretty fan frantic. Damn, big spider, sorcerer, and troll. And as you see, I'm, my character's attacking. I don't know if you can see it, but my character's attacking a lot slower because the wizard actually casted a uh, slowdown spell on me. Plus, it's only temporarily. Uh, shield, eh. I don't even know damn shield. I'm a destroyer. Good gloves. Aw. Oh, don't have enough magic. Yeah, certain items take, uh, st have stat requirements. Like them gloves, I can't equip them because they need... I gotta have 11. My magic has to be at 11. Spear. I'm not good. I'm not sure if my character is good with spears. I'll check it out later. Well, heck yeah, that's a good copper. It's, even if you can't, uh, even if your character is not good with the item, it's always a good idea to identify it because you can get more money that way. You know, selling it. Another identity scroll. Huh, where's all the high level enemies at? Why am I fighting rats and spiders again? That was kind of fun. Just taking out rock trolls and all that. There's a rock troll. Whoa, I am almost dead. Wow. That was close. I can't believe I haven't been paying to my life at all. I was incredibly close. Yeah, sometimes you can, uh, I'm very bad at these sort of games because I don't really like pay attention to my health or my mana. I just spam left click and right click, you know. <laughs> I should probably focus more on my health. Ooh. Yeah. The Rock Trolls attacks, if he lands them, he can knock you back pretty far. Some serious damage if you're not paying attention. I just love doing that, just hitting an enemy and watching them, like, splatter. It's crazy. Ooh, wow. Whole cave's gonna be red when I'm done with it, damn. Alright, can I get the Titan Stomp? Yes, I can get the Titan Stomp, I love that attack. Let's upgrade my magic so I can equip that stupid gauntlet. Uh, inventory... Ooh, a pistol. Yeah, give that to the pet. To sell. What the crap? Hear that? Yay! Comments. All right. Starting to run into tougher enemies, but so far and few in between. Yeah. Let me demonstrate the Titan Stomp ability if I get a chance. Uh, I gotta, I'll probably use it in a good situation. Ooh, now is a good time to use it. Bam! Yeah, it's as you can tell, it's definitely an attack for taking out a large group of enemies. So if you're surrounded, it's just perfect for that. It's probably like my favorite uh, special attack yet. And in my other save, I had a character that was at least, like, level 15, you know, so I, I had a lot of special attacks. But no matter what, the Titan Stomp was just my favorite, because it's so devastatingly powerful. It's awesome. Let's see here, get a Town Portal Skull and Identity Skull. Ooh, Weapon Rack. Uh, of course some sort of spear. Titan Stomp! <laughs> I'm gonna spam that attack a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I love that attack so much. Boatload of items, jeez. Because I did to buy everything. Just because I can. Wow, that is a powerful spear. Can't even equip it. It requires 18 strength. Got a helmet. And no, I'll get rid of them. So yeah, once you get further down the mines, you run into a lot of loot. I mean, there's just you just get so much of it to the point to where it's hard just to maintain it, you know. 
because your inventory is getting full like every two seconds. So proper inventory management really is key. Okay, let's put these in my pet's inventory. Hmm. Love the special attacks. They're just incredibly awesome to use. Bam! Another rock troll, alright! Stomp. Wow, I just incinerated him, what the hell? Just like disappeared as soon as I hit him with my soul rend. Awesome. Oh, mage, I hate them guys, because they make because whenever they do the slowdown spells, it just makes you hit so slow. Really drags the combat out. Uh, let's kill this rat. Dirty stinking rat. Ooh, yeah, usually whenever you go near these little holes right here, a boatload of these enemies come out. Oh, I should use my Titan Stomp, that would have been awesome. Just make up splatter everywhere. Alright, so, uh, let's go ahead and exit to the title screen. So, this is the end of my little torchlight gameplay and commentary. Uh, sorry I didn't get to show you guys the boss fight, it's just, you know, I didn't, I don't think I have enough time. Really, I try to keep my videos under an hour, you know. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys thought. If you have any feedback, remember to leave them leave it in the comment section and I'll probably be doing a second Torchlight gameplay and commentary if enough people request it. Uh, Ghost Squad 57 signing out.